And now we'll continue with Dai Wai Tang from China. Mm, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Dai Wei Tang, and I'm currently a PhD student in biostatistics at Yale University, uh, and I'm originally from China. Today, I'm going to talk about my project on computational profiling of tumor microenvironments. Uh, so, a lot of big words here, I know, so I will elaborate. Let's get started with what is tumor microenvironment. When people talk about tumor, they always think that's a, the one thing, you know, tumor is a, a specific kind of cells and they are bad. But actually, it's not. Tumor is a quite complicated system. If you look at the graph here, you will see tumor actually is a little ecosystem, consists of, consists of different types of cells. There are tumor cells, of course, but there are also blood cells, and a lot of your immune cells are actually surrounding, trying to attack your tumor. So it's really a complicated thing. And people started to realize that the tumor microenvironment plays a vital role, especially in the recent years, when they realized when, when, you, are when you are treating patients with the same thing, same drug, same therapy, they responded differently. It's, this is especially true in, in the stage of immunotherapy, when people are trying to apply immunotherapy on tumor patients, people have substantially different expression and uh, uh, outcome. And part of the reason is because there are differences in tumor microenvironment. So now it becomes a vital question to answer, what is in your tumor microenvironment? And what are the proportions of those cells? So we are trying to approach this problem uh, computationally. And we start with gene expression data. Because if you think about that, when we actually take a tumor biopsy out for sequencing or for gene expression, gene expression measurement, we are not measuring the gene expression of one single cell type. We are essentially measuring the weighted mixture of all the cell types in this microenvironment. So from that, we do have the information of all the component cell types. And from that, we, we are capable of reconstruct the microenvironment simply from the tumor gene expression data. And that led to the development and the strategy of our project. So basically, we start with listing out the major cell types in tumor microenvironment. Then, we try to find out the signature genes for each of the component cell type. This is important because if you think about that, one specific gene, it only expresses in tumor cells, not in all the rest of the cells. Then if you look at the bulk tumor gene expression data, all the signal of this gene expression actually only come from tumor. And that basically offers us a clue in inferring tum tumor's fraction in this uh, microenvironment. And the same rule applies to all other cell types. So based on that, we figure out those signature genes and we take advantage of uh, computational techniques called non-negative matrix factorization. And from there, we construct our whole algorithm in profiling tumor microenvironment. From there, you can input with tumor gene expression data and obtain all the component cell types fraction in this microenvironment. Uh, after development of this algorithm, the next question is to ask is, how does it work? Or how well does it work? So we start with some real data analysis. And if you look at the lower panel, those green ones, those are immunotherapy recipients, uh, tumor fractions estimated from our algorithm by response group. CR here means complete response. PR is partial response, and those are non-responder. As you can see, those are pre-treatment data, which means they didn't receive any treatment yet. The tumor fractions are pretty close to each other. But if you look at the upper panel, those are, same, those are different cohorts, but still tumor patients. The red ones are pre-treatment, and blue ones are on-treatment, 
Also, the, you have complete response group to the st uh, standard disease, progressive disease group. As you can see, there's a clear shrinkage of tumor fractions in complete response group. That suggests that basically for those who respond to the therapy, their tumor fraction actually shrinks according to our estimation. That's true, right? You, you don't have tumor anymore. Of course, its fraction goes down. And that justified that our estimation made sense. On top of that, we did some further analysis. We looked at other cell types fractions by responding group in, in melanoma patients, which is a skin tumor. As you can see, for the very left group, the complete response group, they have higher, the left one is CDA cell, CDA T cells, and the right one is natural killer cells. They are higher in both of those cell types fractions, regardless of their state, uh, treatment status, which means they, are even, they have higher CDA T cells and natural killer cells, both before treatment and on treatment. And that suggests that that can be prognostically predictive, which means if I know you have higher of fractions of those two cells, I know you're gonna survive better and respond better, even before treatment. To validate that discovery from our algorithm, we basically use another independent cohort, uh, consists of around 200 different patients. We use our algorithm to estimate their CDAT cell and natural killer cell fractions and stratify them into higher group, which is the red curve, and lower group, which is the blue curve here. As you can see, when they actually get started in treatment, the red curve group actually did survive much better than the blue curve group, which suggests that the finding from our algorithm is also very valid in real clinical practice. And in future, we are planning to generalize those results to more and more tumor types. On top of that, we, we want to bring more characters into our model so it can bring more, cl both clinically and re in terms of research, uh, some better insights into oncogenic research. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, is there any question? No question? Okay, all clear, all right. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you.